Welcome back to Tefl Tuesdays. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be looking at another great PowerPoint game. This one is called Pirates of the Classroom. As I've said before, most schools these days have a computer and a screen and PowerPoints are a fantastic way to create visual engagement in the classroom. They also open up the opportunity for some great and creative games. The one we're going to be looking at today is called Pirates of the Classroom and it's fantastic for classes of all sizes. And if you're creative enough, it can be used for every possible topic and grammar structure that you are currently teaching. If you would like a copy of this template, then I will leave a link in the description down below. Full disclosure here, I didn't make this PowerPoint. I was given it by a fellow teacher in the Tefl Lemon WeChat group. It was made by Jennifer Young, according to the file information. So thank you, Jennifer, for this magical game. So we start with the title screen. Then you put your classes into teams. I usually choose four teams because my classrooms are split into four rows. One, two, three, four. But I've done this game with just two teams and it's just as fun. Then you show them the points screen by clicking on the next slide. And explain how it all works. And it's pretty self-explanatory. One coin equals one point, two coins equals two points, all the way up to four coins. Then we have the magical treasure chest, which is worth a whopping five points. Then we have the blast cannon, which means you get to choose one team to lose four points. This is great fun as students will sometimes choose to take points away from the winning team. Or if they're feeling really cruel, they can choose to take points from the losing team and further add to their misery. Sometimes I don't even explain how to use this cannon. I just write the minus four on the board and let the students think that if you get this cannon, your team loses four points. Then after everybody has cheered for the team losing four points, I tell them how it works and give them the opportunity for a little revenge, especially on the team that has cheered the loudest. The next one is the fight to win, which is open season on points, which like I do in the classroom, I'm going to explain that to you a little bit later. And the final one is Blackbeard or Davy Jones with that cackling laugh. And if you get this, you lose all your points. And the way you can explain this without talking is by doing an example on the board of a team with points and just wiping them all away. This next slide is where you put your grammar or sentence structure for today's lesson. For this example, I have used I go to and buy, as this week we are learning transport and how do you go to school. I've expanded upon that with some other places we learned at the beginning of the week and finally we have the board itself. Now on the top row we have the vehicles or modes of transport. We have a car, we have taxis, we have motorbikes, school bus, a bus and on foot. And on the left hand side we've got the places that we've been learning throughout the week. So for this one I've got Hong Kong, Shenzhen, school, Huizhou, Shanghai and home. So this is really simple. We bring one student to the front of the class and they choose two of the options and make a sentence. For example, I go to Shenzhen by taxi. And we find the two corresponding objects, the taxi and Shenzhen, and we meet in the middle and click the box. And there you go, one coin. So one coin equals one point for the team. I'll give you a few more examples. We're gonna go with I go to school by school bus. School bus, school, four points, massive. We click the home button. And then you, as you can see, as you click the squares, when you go back to the home page, they will disappear. So I go to school by motorcycle, motorcycle. I go to school by motorcycle is three points. Click the home button and we're back again. If your version of Microsoft PowerPoint doesn't work in that way, so the boxes don't disappear after you've clicked them, you can always use the red pen, which is at the bottom left corner, you click pen, and you can simply draw a cross over the boxes that have already been picked. So one more example, I go to Huizhou by motorcycle, Ah, nice. We've got a fight or the duel, as I like to call it. Now, how this one works is I get the student who chose the square to choose a player from the other teams to come forward for a duel. Then I bring both of them to the front of the classroom and tell them it is for 
four points or however many points it says on the screen. I then tell them to pay attention because if they can't answer in 10 seconds, they will both lose four points. Then you make a big scene asking them if they're ready, like, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? And then when they're least expecting it, show them the question. And the question section is really simple. You scramble a word, preferably one that the students have been learning throughout the week. And the first student to shout out the answer gets the points from their opponent's team. And as you can see, there's a 10 second timer built into this. You keep playing the game until all the buttons are gone. This game can last anywhere up to 20 minutes. There are ways you can make it shorter and even more exciting. So let's move on to the editing portion of this video. There is a lot of editing you can do to shape this to your knees. The first one is by changing the values of the points, won or lost. Because sometimes losing all your points can be very disheartening, especially if you are only using two teams. It gives one team a huge advantage and it can really blow the life out of the classroom if half the class has no reason to continue playing. So you can just change that to lose four points or lose five points. And it still has the desired effect on the game. One team loses points and the other team is really happy about it. There are two of these Davy Boys in the game and sometimes one team ends up losing all their points more than once. It can be funny, but they do sometimes throw their toys out of the pram, especially if they just lost all their points, they gained them back and then they lost them all again. The next slide is the sentence structure slide where you introduce the grammar or sentence that you're gonna be using with the game. To edit this, you just simply click on the text and edit. It is really simple. I go to, I went to, whatever you like. And for the main board, you can either add text or an image. To put in text, you double click on the blue box, like so, and type in what you would like. To add an image, you can click the insert tab at the top and click either pictures or online pictures. If you click online pictures, you can use Bing to search for a photo. Download it quickly and insert it into your PowerPoint. Once all this is looking cushy, we move on to the next slide, which is the fight panels. And all you've got to do to edit here is go down to the next slide and change the scrambled and unscrambled words. Scrambled goes at the top, unscrambled at the bottom. You can also use this for questions. For example, what color is a panda? And the answer is black and white. There we go, after 10 seconds, it will show up. And we can also change the amount of points awarded by clicking the text box in the slide above it and change it from four to five to six, seven, however many points you want. And you can move the boxes around and make the game as exciting as you want. Here are a few examples of ones that I made earlier. I will pop the links in the description for these. As you can see, the first one we've got here is clothes and colors. So I'll say, what color is your t-shirt? And they'll say, my t-shirt is blue. My t-shirt is blue. Another one I've done here is for colours, which is like red and pink, red and black, red and white. So they choose two colours. This one's for really young children. So we say yellow and black. And there we go. And the links for all these will be in the description down below. And that's everything for today. If you've got any suggestions or ideas on how to improve this PowerPoint, then let me know in the comments down below. If you use this in your class and it's successful, then also let me know in the comments. If you want to see more TEFL videos like this, then consider subscribing and checking out my other content. I'll be dropping at least one new video every Tuesday, depending on what time zone you are in. Drop a cheeky like if it has been helpful and a dislike if it hasn't. Stay tuned for more videos and remember, don't do anything. I wouldn't do.